Hello everyone, this is Richard from FirstStuff.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up an advanced security for your home wireless router. Now, I did do a video before uh, showing you how to set up a basic security, uh, WEP, or to say Wired Equivalent Protocol. But this kind of security seems to be very easy to break. So, uh, I will show you how to do the WPA, the Wi-Fi Protected Access. Okay, and this one uses a more advanced algorithm that the attackers find a little bit harder uh, to break. Okay, it's uh, very simple. So the first step you need to do is uh, go to your wireless router and flip it upside down. And on the bottom of it, is, you're going to see uh, an IP address, okay, a default IP address. And it's going to look something like this, 192.168.0.1. Now, depending on the router, you're going to have a different, uh, a different number. So I'm going to choose one. And it's going to ask you for uh, the login. Now, if you never s set this up before, on the bottom of the router as well, it should tell you what it is. And if not, most of the time, it's either admin, pass, or uh, username admin and, and blank on the password. It should be something very uh, basic but you definitely need to change that uh, once you set up your wireless okay so I already have it uh, configured I'm going to enter my credentials okay again the defaults are widely used by hackers uh, they know how all these devices come with certain defaults and they look for people who has not set those up the right way and log in uh, to their computers, to their wireless internet, do some illegal activities that you'll be help, held responsible for. Alright, so once I'm in, I'm gonna hit on setup, wireless settings. And as you go down right here, you're gonna see the security mode. You're gonna scroll and choose WPA. Okay. Now, cipher type, you got two. Just keep the, the TKIP. Okay, just keep it on the TKIP, and there is tempor temp temporal key integrity protocol. Okay, I I worked uh, five days to memorize that, and then over here you have to leave it on the PSK. Okay, so again, uh, leave it on the PSK. Now the other type is more for businesses. Now over here you have to type in the passphrase. So let's do something real quick. Um, make it a little complicated. It's better. Of course, don't put your home address, telephone number, date of birth, anything like that is not very uh, strong. So, my home security, or let me do one more time. You can set up up to 64, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, up to 64, so the stronger, the better. But make sure those passphrases um, be written down somewhere and of course never lost because next if you're gonna try to connect from a certain access point you're gonna have a problem okay the confirm just uh, enter it again and we're gonna save the settings okay now the device gonna restart you might have a little problem with your uh, with your router is gonna freeze so what you need to do is once that screen ends and the device finish restarting okay uh, you might need to unplug your router and your modem for like five minutes to and let it reboot and uh, plug it back again so uh, let me show you how that will happen okay so I'm back again I did uh, reboot my router and my uh, my wireless um, my modem and my wireless router for five minutes so uh, let me go ahead and set it up so I'm gonna go on the bottom where my little network icon is okay I'm gonna hit on the wireless and connect okay now right click and property and I'm using Vista but it's very similar in everything else 
so over here you have a drop down you choose WPA personal okay make sure you choose the WPA personal encryption type TKIP and the security phrase that you set up okay and hit on OK and I'm connected let it require IP and we're gonna try to connect to a website okay let me see here's my refer stuff okay very good first check a couple of links bam it's working very good that was easy to set up the only downfall of having the WPA is that there's an overhead uh, when it comes to the packets so it might be a little slower um, than if it does not have that security setup but I believe that a peace of mind is definitely worth it okay let me go ahead and show you how to change your uh, login info okay so I'm gonna go back to my browser and type in the router's IP address which is again 192.168.0.1 is gonna take me in there let me see where I gotta go when you click on tools there's an administrator and a user alright so you have to change those the login name okay the new password and the confirm password make sure you make those complicated you write them down on a piece of paper and you save them now I just show you how to do WPA which is a more advanced security and hopefully you will not ha have any um, hackers going into your computer now again if a hacker really really wanna break into your router he can he can do that using certain tools but doing that will make it much harder for him and time consuming to do and he might lose patience so again this was Richard from refresstuff.com and I hope this was useful thank you